Well, good morning. I'm Paul Pazin, and uh, a real brief history on myself is I was born and raised in Denver. I'm uh, very fortunate that I actually grew up in, in North Denver. As a young child, I grew up right across the street from District 1 when uh, District 1 was located in Jefferson Park. Upon graduating high school from Denver North High School, I joined the United States Marine Corps served for five years, in, including uh, a stint in uh, the Gulf War. Uh, upon finishing uh, my enlistment with the Marine Corps, I was uh, hired by the Denver Police Department on January 2nd of 1995. I was, uh, upon graduation from the Police Academy, I was assigned to Southeast Denver, uh, District 3. I uh, worked as a, a patrol officer. I was selected for the district's impact team or, or SCAT team is how we refer to it now. Uh, I was also selected as a neighborhood police officer and promoted to a field training officer where I uh, trained new recruits. I was uh, also uh, able to attend the, the three-month SWAT uh, training on-the-job training and uh, after uh, an extensive inter interview process was selected to become a full-time member of the SWAT team. Uh, that was uh, an, an absolute joy. It was uh, exciting to go to work each and every day and uh, uh, like now I, I had a smile as I uh, went to work uh, each day. Was promoted to, to sergeant and uh, worked or was assigned to District 2 in Northeast Denver. Absolutely loved uh, the community and the neighborhoods that encompass District 2. I uh, worked a very busy sector. I was selected to lead the District 2 power shift, which was uh, a fantastic assignment. And uh, then uh, with some, some guidance and, and coaching from some uh, tremendous cr command officers that the Denver Police Department has had over the years was advised to uh, put in for internal affairs. Uh, I did uh, go to internal affairs and learned uh, quite a bit about uh, discipline, about accountability, about uh, customer service from a whole different perspective. And my assignment in internal affairs has been invaluable as a command officer for the Denver Police Department. Uh, I was again promoted to lieutenant and fortunately was assigned to my home neighborhood where I grew up in, in Northwest Denver. And I've served in Northwest Denver for nearly the past six years. Then uh, through the selection process that Chief White has developed and the utilizing the stakeholders, I was selected to now command District 1 and this is the culmination of a dream come true. Well, here we're going to talk a little bit about family history and uh, I can trace the, this uh, service gene back to my grandmother, my grandmother Lola. Uh, Lola Trujillo and every one of her, her kids or grandkids uh, leave, lead a, a life of service. I have uh, parents, I have uh, aunts and uncles and cousins, and if you look at, at their lives, they're all dedicated to a life of service. So this is something that is essentially in the blood, and I embrace that because there is no job in the entire world that I would rather do than be a Denver police officer. Growing up in, in District 1 in that close proximity to the old police station is something that uh, it ha has helped ignite that passion. So I'm passionate about making Northwest Denver a safer, more vibrant place for people to live, work, and play. Uh, my commitment I is deep uh, in order to ensure that these folks get the best possible police service that, that they deserve. And I think that the, over the past five years, we have, we have done that and we're only going to build upon it. We want to take that to the next level in collaboration with the rest of the, the city agencies and the city services to make sure that uh, Northwest Denver is a fantastic place to raise a family. 
Uh, our job is to uh, meet our uh, citizens, our residents, our business leaders' needs, and then when, when they think that we're already doing what they want, then raise that bar again and, and try to uh, essentially make a better life for all of the, the people that live, work, and play in Denver. Um, I'm committed to doing this by constantly reevaluating each and everything that I do as a, a command officer as well as what our officers do on the, uh, the calls for service that they handle each and every day and the, the class two activity that they uh, engage in. We want to make sure that regardless the situation, regardless the, the call, that our officers respond in a professional manner and that after that incident, the, the citizen can say uh, that is a, a, a very professional officer and I would want my police, or I would want my children to grow up and be Denver police officers uh, and thank uh, the, the officers for what they did regardless uh, of the outcome.